Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting broadcast of Chabot Gladiator Athletics right here on NorCal Sports TV. I'm Dominic Cariel, live from the campus of Chabot College in Hayward, California, and we have a good one for you tonight. It's the Chabot Gladiators coming off their Christmas break, taking on the Marin, the College of Marin Mariners. This is a little appetizer for the Gladiators tonight as they get ready to really start to ramp up their schedule as next Thursday, next Thursday they take on the number nine team in the state, San Jose City College, and not to have that followed up by conference play with Kenyatta and then, of course, City College of San Francisco will come here in the conference home game opener. Gladiators with an 11-3 record. Head coach Kenyon McMiller has this team rolling with just three losses on the year, all coming against top five state opponents. They're ranked number 13 in the state as of right now, moving up two spots from the last ranking on December 18th. And then on the other side, College of Marin, they come in 3-9 and nine on the season. It's been a little bit of a struggle as of late. They, are, they have lost six of their last seven, that lone win coming against Modesto College. Head coach Lorian Russell has really had this team firing on offense. They score, definitely score a lot of points offensively. They love to shoot the three ball, but have not had the defensive efficiency that they would like. We're just about set and ready to go to kick off the second half of the men's basketball season. Gladiators in the all-white with black and gold going from black and yellow, I guess, in this instant, going from right to left. And then College of Marin going from left to right in the all-black with just gold. Quick basketball change, it looked like. As we, here we go. The officials blow the whistle. We're ready for tip-off here. DJ Howard tipping for the Gladiators, and he wins it directly straight back to Marcellus Edwards. Gladiators will get their first possession of the ball game. They've got one of the better starting fives in Northern California for sure. DJ Howard coming into his own. There's a three, and it is knocked down. It's good. Noah Thomas drills the triple. And the Gladiators break the ice early. Thrown ahead, almost turned over, and it is turned over. And then almost turned right back over, which that is. Teams exchange quick turnovers there. Driving all the way to the basket, then dropping it off nicely in the paint. This is going to be something that we'll have to see as a travel and another turnover for Colin Drummer in. We'll see what the Gladiators try and do defensively. With, a, with Adam Koboli down low. They've had a little bit of trouble defending the centers. DJ Howard has done a great job this season. It's been a little bit of a struggle, though. There's another three, and it's drilled again. Noah Thomas bottoms another three. He's got six quick points, and it's 6 nothing. Colby throws it inside. It was a good dribble move, but it was picked up by Wilson Colby inside, and he traveled again. Three possessions, three turnovers for the Mariners in the early going. And the Gladiators' high press offense, or defense, goes into their offense. We'll see. Oh, I thought for sure Noah Thomas was going to take a heat check triple. Edwards going to drop it off. Thomas, it was a low pass, but he'll fire again, and that one was no good. You didn't expect anybody else to take that shot but him there. Driving all the way, and then a rejection from D.J. Howard. Flying high. That was really good defense there from Marcellus Edwards as well to keep the hands straight up and to not allow any foul on the block. Trying to answer with a three of their own or the Mariners. That was no good. Didn't hit any rim, so no shot clock. And they're going to say that it is. They're going to hit it with a did hit the rim. 
We have our first substitutions of the game here. Just one for Marin. College of Marin trying to have their first possession without a turnover. And DJ Howard with another rejection. It's Mikhail Mims quickly up to Broadus who lays it up and in. Zach Broadus gets the finish with the left hand, but DJ Howard played the defense, and then it was a quick outlet pass from Mikhail Mims. Marin breaks the press and then drops it off and then turned it right back over. Four turnovers. And this is going to come to a haul. College of Marin head coach Lorian Russell needs to stop this. It's an 8-0 run to start the game for the Gladiators. We'll be right back. ball after the timeout another turnover Edwards gonna drive no call from anywhere DJ Howard gets the offensive rebound and kisses it off the glass for two look like a pretty good no call there from officials so let the guys play look like a little bit there driving is Wilson he almost lost it now he'll rise up baseline that's no good Howard fights high for the rebound gets a quick outlet and he threw it to nobody it was intercepted there by McPherson and then McPherson almost turned it over now it's thrown inside the layup is no good good job by the gladiators not to foul Edwards he's going to drive to the bucket he's going to rise and the foul Marcellus Edwards will go to the line to try and complete the and one There's Edwards is driving right to the bucket through the contact. It was a good attack, too, as Noah Thomas slipped over into the corner. Really good transition offense here. As there's the broadest bucket, but again, that was the second D.J. Howard block. He's been had a great start to this game as the free throw is up and good from Marcellus Edwards. 13 to nothing, Gladiators lead right now. And now it's almost thrown away. They need to get this over. Three seconds, now it's going to be thrown away again. It is the fifth Mariner turnover in the first three minutes. DJ Howard going to work one on one. He goes baseline. He was fouled on the floor. Foul would be on number 44 there. It's Daneem Tula Fata as he checks out. It's a pretty deep bench for the Mariners in this one. Gladiators get it in. Mims straight on triple. It is good. Mikhail Mims bottoms a three. And the Gladiators had a little bit, as that's knocked out of bounds by Noah Thomas, they had a little bit of a struggle shooting the basketball before this little Christmas break. Talking to head coach Keenan McMiller in the pregame, he said this was a much-needed break for the team. They needed it. There was a lot of guys playing a lot of minutes in those big games, those top five games, as that was deflected out of bounds by Noah Thomas. It'll stay with the Mariners with 15 to shoot. And that maybe towards that three-game homestand where they went two and one, one eight, the one loss against number one in the state West Valley, rising jump shot is good. Justin Aquino with the baseline jumper, and that breaks the scoreless drought for the Mariners, makes it 16-2. Mikhail Mims answer with a mid-range jumper of his own. They did a couple of, head coach Gene McMiller saying they did a couple of team bondings. They've got a couple of things coming up. The groups come really close together 
And so far, this first five minutes has really shown that. And that was almost turned over. It's tapped away. Noah Thomas with the save, kicking it out. Marcellus Edwards triple. It's no good. McPherson grabbed the rebound. He's going to fly ahead, try and go in the transition. Really good pass. Scoop layup up and under, no good. But DJ Howard will be called for the foul. This is a really good pass right here, the drop off. Nicely done. And that will send Kobe Wilson to the line to shoot two. 43.5% free throw shooter. As the first one is up and good, the sophomore guard from Aloha High School. And the second is off back iron, no good, and flying high for the rebound. There was a little bit of a rip through. The jump ball is called, and it will stay down there. See, Zach Broadus, it was tough on the hard, long rebound. It was a good job by Devin Mims, though, to get two hands on that basketball. There's a wide open three. It was no good, but somehow Wilson gets a rebound. He's going to work on Thomas. That layup was up and no good. The Howard rebound was almost turned over on the outlet pass to Broadus. Edwards going to drive all the way. The layup is up and good. How nicely done was that from Marcellus Edwards? Those contact layups, he's so good at working through it. Skipped all the way across. What a good pass. And a two-handed flush. Adam Kualubi. Oh, my goodness. What little footwork there with the pump fake and the two-handed jam. Broadus, he's going to work one-on-one. -on -one. Goes into the paint, and he was fouled on the way to the basket. Foul will be on Colby Wilson. That's his first personal. It's the third team. Foul was on the floor on the drive. It'll be a baseline inbound for the Gladiators with 20 to shoot. He's got to get this thing in. A real dangerous pass, but a really good job by Mikhail Mims to use his body like a receiver. Here comes a quick double. Thomas is going to drive. He's going to drop it off. Mims has 12 to shoot. No rush for the Gladiators. Edwards thought he had a mismatch with Howard down low, but he's going to drive into the paint. He'll rise up, fadeaway jumper. That's no good. Broadus grabs the offensive rebound. He's going to drive and rise and hit. Zach Broadus, that's his bread and butter right there. And it's just extending this Gladiators lead. McPherson almost turned it over. And it is not as Marcellus Edwards couldn't quite save it. Because here's that broadest just that one dribble riser. He's so good at that. Especially when he gets into his groove. Dribbling baseline, rising and getting fouled is Trey McPherson. So he'll go to the line to shoot two, and the foul will be on Marcellus Edwards. It's his first person. Edwards is trying to go for that steal, was behind the eight ball once that pass was completed. It'll be the sophomore guard, Trey McPherson, at the line to shoot two, an 82.1% free throw shooter. And the first one is knocked down. It's good. Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart Cathedral High School graduate. Averaging 15.5 points per game that leads this team. And he knocks them both down. Substitutions come. One of the better guards on this Mariners basketball team is McPherson. Doesn't mind going to the paint. Has a really good mid-range jump shot. There's a lob. It's up and... Oh, it was no good. Broadus with a lob to DJ Howard. And Howard tried to go right over Mims. Should have a good baseline angle of it here. Oh, the foul was called on Mims. He wanted thought maybe it was a jump ball. But DJ Howard almost with a highlight reel jam. And the first one's up and no good from Howard. He's 27.8 on the season. 
from Arbor View High School. That's Las Vegas, Nevada, the hometown. And the second is up and good. A sophomore center has slowly started to play better and better and better as this season has gone on and has worked his way into the starting lineup and is going to maybe try and stay there. And the layup, oh, what a really good press break there from the Mares. And then the layup was good by Worthington. Uses the rim so nicely there as kind of a defender. Throw it ahead, Noah Thomas with the left hand or the right hand and lays it in. Noah Thomas is diving to the basket. Good vision there by Mikhail Mims. Got to get it over. It's pretty close here. They do. Worthington almost turned it over. Now it's on the floor, and they're going to call for the reset. It's a lob, and D.J. Howard grabs it and gives it to Noah Thomas. Gets it to Mims inside, and that was knocked away. Pass inside, and D.J. Howard with the chase down block. Flying high to get back on defense. Look at 10 from the other free throw line. Running all the way back. Good job by Broadus not to foul and DJ Howard with a huge rejection. That's his third of the half. Here's a three ball and it is good. Kobe Wilson bottoms a triple. Quickly thrown ahead. Noah Thomas going one-on-one -on -one with Wilson. He's going to scoop layup. I don't know how that almost went. Really, and now Mims. David Mims will go coast to coast and lay it in. Look at Devin Mims there. Little bit of a Mariners run here. Mikhail Mims skipped it all the way across. Brought a stop. Maybe he'd want that three ball. Mariners in his zone. Gladiator's going to work it around the perimeter. Maybe try a little seam pass. There comes the triple team. Broadus almost lost it. He's got eight to shoot. Between the legs dribble. He's going to drive to the right hand. He's going to try and go. He's going to rise up. That one was blocked. Quickly up the floor now goes Coverson. Coverson, he's going to skip it all the way across. Wilson, one extra pass. Good job by the Gladiators in transition defense to reset. And it's thrown inside, almost turned over. It's still loose somehow, and it comes all the way out. Culverson triple. It's off back iron, no good. Broadus grabs a rebound, quickly ahead to Edwards. Gladiators will never take a possession off. Edwards to the lane. He can't get it to go. Culverson almost had it knocked away from him by Thomas. Got to give it to the officials, letting them play. And then there's a Kobe Wilson three. Kobe Wilson bottoms the three, and qu that quickly, it's an eight-point game. What a run by the Mariners here. It's the zone defense. Edwards into the corner. Mims triple. That's off back iron. No good. Howard fighting for the rebound. It came out to Thomas. Thomas three. He was fouled and will go to the line to shoot three. There's the first triple that was up and no good. It was tapped out. Not sure if DJ Howard meant to tip that all the way out, but it went right to Thomas, and he was fouled on the triple, and will go to the line to shoot three of them. And the first free throw rattles home for Noah Thomas. The sophomore transfer from Oregon Tech University. Hometown is Chico. California, leading this team right now in scoring, averaging 19.1 points per game, 78.3% from the line. As the second is up and no good. Pretty much a wholesale change here for the Gladiators as they have three guys come on, Mateo Hamilton, Thomas Labatt, and Makai Thomas will come on as well. And the second is no good, but look at Labatt grab the offensive rebound. So Noah Thomas goes one for three, but the Gladiators get the extra possession. Noah Thomas looked inside for Thomas Labatt. Here's Makai Thomas inside. He rises and finishes. What a nice little move with the left hand, and head coach Keenan McMiller is going to call a timeout to try and slow this game down and maybe set something up here. We're almost halfway through our first half at the 28-17 Gladiator lead. 
You are watching Chabot Athletics here on NorCal Sports TV. in the timeout as there's the first horn for the timeout it's the first one they've taken in this game we'll see kind of what head coach Keenan McMiller and the Gladiators drew up here as they called the timeout interestingly right after they scored Mariners definitely called them in went on a nice little run to close this gap it's now up to 11. The lead got as low as 8 and as high as 20 in this game. Gladiators look like they're showing a zone, and that's exactly what they do here, coming right out of it. Good pass aside, almost a turnover, but there's McPherson who drops the foul line jumper. Can't leave any type of room for Trey McPherson. Call Jimmer in back into their 2-3 zone. Going inside to Makai Thomas. Drops it off. Makai Mims. He's got a three. It's too strong. No good. Good rebound there from Fata. Fata quickly throwing it ahead. It's a two on one for the Mariners. Going inside. Laying it up. No good. Offensive rebound. McPherson. His layup is no good. And here's Makai Thomas. Quickly ahead to Mims. Mims two on one. Euro step. Left hand layup won't go. And here comes the Mariners again. Trying to quickly throw it ahead. But Devin Mims slows it down, gets it to Trey McPherson. He's trying to dribble through trouble, kicking it out to the corner. There's a firing three from Mims. That rattles in and out, and the rebound gets tapped around and grabbed from Mateo Hamilton. Makai Thomas. Noah Thomas going to drive baseline. He's going to rise up, and it's an offensive foul on the charge. Tula Fate draws it. It's a good call there. Great job there by Tula Fata to slide over, have those feet set, get outside the restricted area. And then Noah Thomas gets called for just his first foul. McPherson. Calderman working it around. Now McPherson pass inside. Fata can't grab it. Gets the Mims, kicks it all the way out. McPherson, extra pass. Here's a corner three. It's shorter. It was no good. Good ball movement there to free up Wilson. Quickly ahead to Nick Tumlin. Nick Tumlin going to back up dribble, kick it out to Makai Thomas. Inside, Thomas Labatt looking. Makai Thomas working it around. Makai Mims triple. That one's no good. Mims just can't seem to find the shooting stroke tonight. Wilson. Pass inside, Fata, good footwork, and then he's fouled, or did he travel with it? He did. It was interesting to see what they were going to call there. Right there, he should have just went straight up, but instead, once you spin, you can't pick up that pivot foot. After the turnover, Gladiators will have it. Mims looking. He's going to go right into the paint. Feels like he could have rose up. Here's Makai Thomas, three. That's no good. Fighting for the rebound. It's grabbed by McPherson. McPherson quickly thrown ahead. Coverson skip pass all the way across. Baseline. Oh, fadeaway jumper. He was fouled, and it is no good. But Justin Aquino will go to the line to shoot two. Really good ball movement from the Mariners here, and what a nice behind the back dribble move. And Mateo Hamilton, you just can't get into the landing space area there. Justin Aquino, freshman guards. First is up and good, 75% free throw shooter. 
The Lincoln High School grad, 13.8 points per game. That's good for second on this team. And he rattles home the second, so knocking them both down brings the lead down to seven, the lowest it has been. Makai Thomas working it to Makai Mims. Mateo Hamilton, he's going to look. A couple of guys flash. Thomas Labad pit foul line jumper. That's no good. Flying high for the rebound and grabbing it nicely there is Aquino. Aquino behind the back dribble. He's going to go scoop layup. No good. Makai Thomas has, or Makai Mims has it, excuse me. He quickly has Makai Thomas, but he's just going to go take it himself. It's going to be a block on the move, and Makai Mims will go to the line to shoot two. see was it a restricted area or was he just a little late yep maybe just a tad a half second late there's the foul went to Colaby it's just his first personal but the talented sophomore guard Mikhail Mims will go to the line to shoot two he's averaging 13.9 points per game this season 81% free throw shooter and the first is up and no good. Once Mims sees that one fall, as there's he splits the pair, he can get hot very, very quickly. And we saw that in the last home game against Diablo Valley. Coverson trying to find anybody here. Just going to work it around the perimeter. They got 15 to shoot. Driving in. Good defense there from Hamilton. Skipped all the way across. Here's a three ball and fouling the jump shooter again. Logan Coverson draws the foul on the three. The foul was on Makai Thomas. Right there just hits the arm. A couple of mistakes here from the Gladiators right now. As the first is up and no good. Coverson, an 86.4% free throw shooter. He's another one of these strong starters on this College of Marin team, averaging 13.2 points per game. Salesian College Prep. As that foul was on Makai Thomas, it was his first. The second free throw is good, so two out of three. Mims with 7.20 to go in the first half. Tumbling now in the game. Looking, trying to give it to somebody, cutting. Has Tumbling in the corner, finally gets it to him. He's a catch-and-shoot shooter. Didn't like the shot there, and then he turned it over. It was picked off by Coverson. Coverson layup is up and good. Coverson's layup brings the lead down to five. The turnovers by the Gladiators have killed them. After they grew the lead up to 20, it's been an unbelievable run for this college drummer in team. Mims going to skip it all the way across. Tumlin, he was out of bounds. Tumlin at his feet out of bounds. It's another turnover. And the full starting five will have to come into the game right now for the Gladiators. As it is a night, it is a 19 to 10 run right now. There's a three, that's no good. It's knocked away, Broadus has it quickly ahead to Marcellus Edwards. Edwards to Broadus. Broadus, he'll rise up. Foul line, he was fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. There's that landing space area foul again. The officials are giving no leeway on that call tonight so far. And that's a 17 foul on College of Marin. That'll put the Gladiators in the bonus the rest of the way with 6.23 to go. Brought us at the line, the talented sophomore guard, all conference 
last season. 72.9% free throw shooter. He's averaging 17.9 this season as well. From LA Premier Prep, Los Angeles, California. He'll have some good offers coming out of Chabot this season. Aquino. McPherson. Going to work on Thomas. Look at that little hezzy spin move. That was no good, but grabbing the rebound was West. And then West turned it over. Good steal there from Noah Thomas. Noah Thomas behind the back dribble. Then spins, drops it off. The layup is blocked. It was rejected. Ogungle tried to lay it in. There was nothing there. There's another rebound by West. He rises up, and DJ Howard grabs the rebound. Marcellus Edwards trying to dribble through the defense, collapsing it. Noah Thomas kicks it out. One more. Ogungle, nothing there. And dropping it off. Now Ogungle tries to get it down. Here's Zach Broadus. He's doubled, worked into the corner, and he throws it away. The defensive intensity right now for the College of Marin has really ratcheted up. And this prolific gladiator offense that we saw in the first five minutes has really come to a complete stop. Thrown ahead. Aquino's got it. Tried to free him up. Nothing there. Good job by Marcellus Edwards fighting for it. It's tapped away one more time. Devin Mims has it. He's got eight to shoot. He's going to work on DJ Howard with five. Now with four. He's going to pump fake. Now he's going to rise up. Good job. No foul. And it's thrown ahead. And that, oh, it's almost a 30-second violation. But quick outlet all the way across. And Zach Broadus. Zach Broadus almost with a poster of the season. And we're only in December. The foul was called. Oh, my goodness. The foul was called on Justin Aquino. And the first one is up and good from Broadus. Justin Aquino was called for a blocking foul on the play. It's a second personal. Head coach Lorian Russell's really digging in to the officials right now. It's, I think this is a great job by the officials, too, who made the call. You don't tee them up right away. You just let them go. That's good discipline there from the official. As Zach Bronis knocks them both down. What the official was really trying to explain there was he was in the restricted area. If you make any contact in the restricted area, it's a foul every time. And that one's thrown away. There's a foul off the basketball. It'll be on the Gladiators. And the foul's on number 20, Matthias Moore. It's just his first personal. 4.38 to go. In the first half, pass down low. Working on DJ Howard. Good job by Howard, not to foul. He quickly throws it ahead to Moore. Moore catches the basketball and lays it up and in as it was going to be a goaltend. I was just waiting to see if they were going to call it. It looked pretty obvious. A little late whistle. That's a really good catch from Moore. And, yep, that hits the backboard first. Gladiators lead is 11. Wilson gets the screen. Tries to get it inside. There's nothing there. Good job by the Gladiators to shut off the pick and roll. Colibli. He's going to rise. That's nothing there. Noah Thomas between the legs dribble. And he turned it right over. And now we're going to have a technical foul on head coach Lorian Russell on the bench of College of Marin. You can tell there was really only a matter of time. The Gladiators will send Marcellus Edwards to the line to shoot the technical free throws. And the first one's off back iron, no good. The 
Gladiators are actually really struggling from the free throw line in this game so far. From where we're seated right down the sideline here, courtside on our table, you could just see Lorian Russell in the official's ear the whole way up and down the floor since that blocking foul. And then they wanted a foul on that last possession as well, and nothing came. So splitting the technical free throws, rising is McPherson. He banks it in, a real strong move from Trey McPherson. Beautifully done there for Caldra Marin. Lead down to 10. Broadus, he's going to catch and shoot, fire three. It's good! Zach Broadus knocks down the three. And he had a little something to say to the call drummer in bench on his way down the floor. Answering the three, that's no good. Moore grabs a rebound. He gets it up the top. Uh, Broadus. Broadus trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. He knocks it off. Broadus, here comes a double. Broadus is knocked out of bounds. The 10th Gladiator turnover in the half. The bench from Colin Marin really digging in to Zach Broadus. has almost knocked away. Noah Thomas almost got a steal. Coverson, 15 to shoot, driving kick. Wilson, he's going to go baseline behind the back pass. Nicely done to Mims. Mims kicks it all the way across, firing a three. It was too strong, no good. Broadus grabs a rebound. He's going to quickly push it ahead. Broadus between the legs dribble, passes it to Thomas. Three, transition and no good. Trey McPherson with the rebound. McPherson almost had it knocked away from him by Edwards. Here comes a double. Skipped across. What a deflection away. And Thomas is going to drop it off to Edwards. Edwards lays it in. I guess we'll give him the dunk on that. The right-handed finish. And head coach, Lorian Russell and College of Marin will call time. Look at the pass there from Noah Thomas ahead. And the finish by Edwards. It's a full timeout on the floor with 2.28 to go in the first half. You're watching Gladiator Basketball on NorCal Sports. TV. of the College of Marin timeout. It'll be their ball after the basket. 41-26 the score. Gladiators went on a little bit of a run there. A little 12, a little 12 to 5 run have put them right back in the lead and a little bit in control this game as the layup is up and good from Devin Mims. Approaching the two minute mark. Inside, DJ Howard, nobody really pressuring him. He's gonna spin in the paint, nothing there. He dropped it off to Noah Thomas. His little floater is up and good. Beautiful little floater by Noah Thomas. Getting a good screen is Aquino. He's going to rise baseline, trying to get it up and over DJ Howard, but nothing was available there. Went off the side of the backboard. Here's Broadus. He almost turned it over. Edwards going to drive, go through everyone, kicks it out. Corner pocket three, Mims. Oh, it rolled in and out. It was tapped away by Noah Thomas. It'll be called drummer in ball. Exactly 90 seconds to go in our first half. Noah 
since the Noah Thomas triples to open the ball game, it's really been a struggle for the Gladiators shooting from behind the arc as Wilson tried to get a three. Really good box out and rebound from Mims. Mikhail Mims. Mims drops it off to Broadus. He's going to go baseline, skipping it all the way across. Noah Thomas has Broadus in the corner. He's going to fire a three. It was short, no good. DJ Howard grabs a rebound and then throws it away. Good effort there from DJ Howard to try and grab the rebound and save it. Trying to get it to Broadus, just sailed it over his head when he was falling out of bounds. Now under a minute to go. McPherson going to drive. DJ Howard, I think he got a tip on that. That'll be his fourth block of the half. It's kicked out McPherson three. That's no good. Edwards grabs the rebound. Quickly ahead. It was a no-look pass to Broadus. It was a one-handed catch. He drops it off. Mims dribbles penetration. Nothing there. Edwards is going to slow everything down. 14-second game clock, shot clock differential. And Edwards goes down hard as he's fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Adam Kulabi, his second personal. Marcellus Edwards will have another trip to the line. A really good freshman for this Gladiator team. 79.7% free throw shooter on the season. Averaging 12.3 points per game for this team. He's played very, very well. Gets a lot of good defensive minutes, or really good starting minutes, and plays a lot of really good defense. Really no drop-off from last season's sophomore-studded guards as the second one is up and no good. Tough break there for the Gladiators. It's about a one-and-a-half second, 1.5 game clock, shot clock differential. Call drummer in, going to roll this thing all the way down and make this the final possession of the half. It's Aquino, now with eight. Aquino gets the screen. Good pass inside, and the two-handed flush. What a beautiful pick and roll. Broadus doesn't get the shot off, and it was no good anyway. Doesn't get it off, and a really good pick and roll there from College of Marin to get the bucket at the end of the half. Here it is. Look at Aquino, good screen there. Koulibaly, two-handed flush. At halftime of our ball game, it's a 13-point gladiator lead, 43-30. Chabot leads. They have been in control, but it has also been a little bit of a struggle towards the end of that first half. We will have the second half and more after these messages from our sponsors, you are watching Chabot Athletics on NorCal Sports TV.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about set and ready to go to start the second half of basketball here at Chabot College. I'm Dominic Cariel here on the call live from Chabot College in Hayward, California. We're on the campus here. It's a 13-point gladiator lead, but they came out like gangbusters. They had a 20-point lead to start the game at 22-2. And then since then... They really went on a shooting slump, more of a struggle, but give a lot of credit to College of Marin and the Mariners, the way that their defense has ratcheted up since they've gone to this 2-3 zone. And they've started to finish on offense. Marcellus Edwards, his first jumper of the half is up and no good. And quickly ahead comes Aquino. Wilson, nothing there. Aquino, catch and shoot triple, that's no good. And Edwards had it knocked away from him and out of bounds. Looked like maybe the Gladiators wanted a foul there, but nothing came. Here's the rebound. It could have gotten it over the back, but the officials have really done a pretty good job in this game to just let the boys play and let the players decide the basketball game. Noah Thomas, his three. It's up and good. The shooter friendly roll from Noah Thomas. He knocks down a three. He starts the half like they started off the ball game. And the Gladiators open the scoring here in the second half. Kobe Wilson looked like maybe he was going to catch a shoot three. He's had a couple of threes today. He had an also an open lane there, but decided not to take it. Aquino now with eight to shoot. Here's Wilson. He's going to go baseline on top. And good defense here from DJ Howard. Akayo Mims quickly up the floor now. Dropping it off. Thomas, he's going to shoot the three. That's no good. Mims gets the rebound. Thomas really gathered and then fired. Mims has a little bit of a mismatch here, he thinks. He's going to drive. He lost it. He lost the dribble. It's quickly thrown ahead. McPherson was blocked by Broadus. So the tip in by Devin Mims will not count. So Broadus has foul right there coming across. I think it was more on the left hand rather than the right hand going up for the block. Is that the line to shoot to is Trey McPherson. Really good free throw shooter and that was my fault. It's up and no good is the first. Gladiators had 12 first half turnovers. They had one there. Calder Marin had 10 of their own as well. And the second is up and no good. So missing them both surprisingly is McPherson. Edwards going all the way, dropping it off. Noah Thomas trying to put a lot of English on that, trying to go through the contact. He is fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. I thought maybe Edwards had a little bit of a lane there to go in, but he dropped it off to Thomas, so he'll shoot two. Officials wiping it up here. Stormy night here in the East Bay. And the first is up and good from Noah Thomas. See, the Gladiators have started out this half a lot better than the way that they finished the first half. Noah Thomas knocks them both down in that 2-2-1 press. And it's a foul on the floor. on number two, Noah Thomas. It's just his second personal. No players on either team in any type of foul trouble. Nobody's got three. As in the college ranks, it is only five before a foul out. And that one was thrown away by College of Marin. That's their first turnover. Quickly now up to Broadus. Broadus has doubled. Edwards 
Good ball fake. Gets it back to Bronis. He's trying to skip it across. It goes all the way across. Noah Thomas triple. It is good. Three. Noah Thomas from downtown. A beautiful pass from Mikhail Mims. McPherson is rolled out of bounds. DJ Howard. It's a good job by DJ Howard not to foul. College of Marin, there's the three ball from Noah Thomas. He's been shooting that thing real well in this game. And you have to give the Gladiator offense as here's Wilson, no good, fighting for it. It looks like McPherson got poked in the eye. There's a little bit of a collision. Marcellus Edwards also wincing a little bit as well. McPherson will come checked out. As Edwards is kind of trying to get that left eye. A reset on the shot clock. Working it around. Devin Mims. Gladiators pretty much switching on almost everything here. And it's poked away. And Noah Thomas is, can't really get the steal. Mims has it. He's going to fly to the lane and get the layup to go. Devin Mims, good regroup and then good finish. Noah Thomas, catch and shoot triple. Oh, it was halfway down. Quickly ahead now. Aquino's layup is good. Really good move there from Justin Aquino. Fighting through the little bit of contact. Broadus Mims. Quick pass inside. Really good pass from DJ Howard. Gladiators trying to make the extra pass. Noah Thomas catch and shoot three. It's no good. And it's ripped down by Devin Mims. Coverson going to drive it. He had it knocked away and stripped. But then it was turned right back over. Inside, Fata lays it in. Teams exchange turnovers and it ends up in a Mariner bucket. Mikhail Mims will fire a three. That one was no good. Howard fighting for the rebound and he's going to be called for the foul there. Trying to go over Logan Coverson. So here's the craziness. As there is a timeout on the floor, and it looks like it will be a full timeout, and it will be Keenan McMiller calling it. 16.07 to go in our ballgame. Gladiators have the lead. After the Gladiator timeout, each team's got four left. It will be College of Marin basketball. Gladiator showing the press. Here comes a double quickly. Got to get it over. They do. Here's Fata. Fata. Good pass inside. And there's a foul and an end one. DJ Howard's going to be called for the foul, but Devin Mims fights through the contact and lays it in. Good pass there from Fata. Devin Mims goes up, double clutch through the contact, and rolled it home.
Gladiators had the lead up to 20, and again, the Mariners are reeling it back in as the free throw is up and good from Devin Mims. So there's your first sign of foul trouble as that was DJ Howard's third personal. It's the fourth Gladiator team already in this half. Broad is dropping it off. Edwards on the baseline, looking it inside. Mateo Hamilton, he's going to square up in the triple threat. He's going to look, look to back down. Pass inside, Noah Thomas kicks it out. Now Edwards, Edwards into the paint. Little right-handed floater is good. Marcellus Edwards with a pretty little move. Quickly thrown ahead, and look at Colin Kobe Wilson flying through the air and finishing. Mim spinning away from his man, dropping it off. Thomas into the paint. That's no good. Mateo Hamilton there to clean up the garbage. Aquino, I don't know how he got it to go. And then there's a foul. Are they going to wave the basket off? So the basket is good. It was after the foul is on Denim Tulala Fata after the basket came barreling in to go for the rebound. So the bucket is good. Count it. A circus shot made there from Aquino. Mims, he's going to work into the paint. Skipping it all the way across. Noah Thomas three. It was no good. He didn't love it when it left his hand. Aquino transition three. <laughs> it is good. Justin Aquino, he's heard from. And he's bringing this Mariners team all the way back. It's single digits, and now it's turned over again. Quickly ahead, they're trying to get to Aquino. He's going to catch and shoot three. That one was no good. Hamilton fights for the rebound and rips it free out to Broadus. Broadus, Gladiators had a little bit of numbers. Broadus all the way to the paint. What a Euro step move in the finish with the left hand. Zach Broadus. Trying to take over the basketball game here. Fata looking. Good pass inside. And it was a chase down block and rejection there from Noah Thomas. Noah Thomas coming from up near the foul line. Right there to make the block on McPherson. And we've got action here on a Friday night. Good pass. Oh, Wilson. He had an open three, didn't want to take it, then dribbled it kind of into a little bit of trouble. Here's McPherson. He's fouled on the floor. So Noah Thomas will pick up another personal foul, but it is the fifth team now. And this is trouble now. Noah Thomas has three as well. He's going to have to come out of the game. These were the minutes that the Gladiators struggled with in the first half that let the Mariners crawl back in. Aquino gets a screen, and it's an offensive foul and an illegal screen. There's the foul. It'll come right here on the screen, just sticking that left leg out and kind of moving just a little bit. Fouls on Koulibaly, that's his fourth personal, so not sure if we'll see him until about the five-minute mark remaining in the game. It's an 11-point gladiator lead. Broadus, he's looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. He gets the contact, and the foul's going to be on the floor. Foul will be on number one, Colby Wilson. That's his second personal. And it looked like Zach Broadus there. He's saying, I want the basketball and clear out. Marcellus Edwards. Acceleration stop up. Good crossover dribble. He's going to go into the paint. Euro step, and it's going to be a blocking foul, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Here's the acceleration right there. Gets by his man, Aquino, and then a foul. Got to get the mop back out. As the foul was given to Devin Mims. That's only his second personal. With 
Koulibaly having four, Fata having three. These are big minutes here for Devin Mims to not pick up another foul as he's only got two. And College of Marin will be running out of centers quickly in foul trouble. As the first free throw is up and good from Marcellus Edwards. He's had a strong game. A little bit of a struggle from the free throw line in this one. And the second is up and good. Gladiator showing pressure again. It's broken. Mims good. Really good pass past the Fata. Mims inside. His layup is no good. He just couldn't finish. Mateo Hamilton. A little scary there. Edwards, crossover dribble. He's going to go all the way. He can't finish. Tumbling somehow rips down the rebound. He throws it up. That's no good. Here's Makai Thomas inside. He can't finish. Tumbling the tip. That's no good. Tumbling grabs it again. He'll rise and then finally will get it to go. And now there's whistles. And there's a player down on the floor. You can see just kind of in the background there. It's number four, Devin Mims, who's down right now. And with an injury on the floor, we're going to take a break as well. 13-11 er, to go in our ball game. We'll be right back. you back to Chabot College. You're watching Gladiator Hoops on NorCal Sports TV as it was Devin Mims who was injured in the scrum and it looked like he may have just, after watching the couple replays that we had, we won't show them, but it looked like maybe he got, he got caught with something like an elbow or something to the temple area. So he was down. Yeah, it looked like he had a little bit of a cut to that right temple. As we're back to basketball here. College of Marin down one of their great forwards in the game. We'll see if we'll get a medical update when we get one. Aquino's going to rise. And I think it was deflected, which it was. And now there's going to be a technical foul on Fata. And now here comes a little bit of a scrum. Look out. Teams have to be separated. It looks like Makai Thomas is going after now Fata. Fata getting grabbed by his teammates. And Fata is needing to be talked to as Makai Thomas went flying in there to defend his teammate, Mateo Hamilton, who got thrown down at the end of this play. There's the block by Broadus. Good box out by Hamilton. Here's Fata. He's just going to throw him. There's the original tech. And then he steps Makai Thomas right there. The officials are going to talk about it. Uh, initially, the only foul on the play was the Fata technical. This puts College of Marin in a huge bind right now, though, with 
Fata possibly being kicked out of this ball game. You have Devin Mims over here on the medical table getting looked at. He was down on a play before. They're going to have to bring in Adam Kobale again, but he's got four fouls. So they, there would be no more bigs they can bring into the game. Their next, I would say, biggest player to try and play the five would be Desmond West, and he's been in the game. He started this game, but he was in as like a three. Officials still talking. There was no contact or anything by a Gladiator player. Or anything of that nature. I don't think anybody made contact with anybody in that scrum. It looked like the officials did a pretty good job jumping in. And the officials will have to go over this. It was Broadus got the block, so it was a baseline out of bounds play for College of Marin. And then it was Denim Tula Fata who grabbed and threw down Mateo Hamilton after Hamilton boxed him out. And the technical came right away, and it seemed like it was diffused until it was number 23, Makai Thomas, stepping in for Chabot, getting in the face of Fata. That was broken up. And then as the teams walked back to the benches, Thomas had a little bit more words for Fata, and then Fata came up out of the bench and had to be grabbed by assistant coaches and other staff members. And he was actually taken down the runway or hallway down to the locker room. I don't think he was initially ejected, but... We're not sure, but it looks like the coaches are going to have to come over to the scorer's table. Probably talking a couple ejections. This game's gotten a little bit chippy. If we had any lip readers <laughs> to our benefit, that would be great here, but... Unfortunately, we're not locked right in on the right in on the conversation. Looks like all the officials had something to say in there. We'll see who's going to get the technicals. So the technical free throws will try and get an explanation. There's still officials asking with the scorer's table. We'll try and get an So just got the explanation from the official. It was a dead ball. This is why it is gladiator basketball now. It was a dead ball technical on number 44, Denim Talafata. So he picks up the one technical. And then they called the double tech when number 23, Makai Thomas, and Fata came together. So two techs on Fata. He is gone and done for the night. And Makai Thomas picked up one technical. 
and just brought the coaches together to kind of diffuse the situation a little bit as we're back to basketball. Gladiators in the bonus, and both teams now after those fouls and everything are in the bonus. Makai Thomas rises and hits. So Makai Thomas knocks down the elbow jumper. Bring the lead to about 18. Working it now is Wilson. Throwing it across McPherson. He's going to rise and hit over Tumlin. Nice bucket there, Trey McPherson. Broadus trying to go coast to coast. He'll just rise and pull up. That one was no good. Fighting for the rebound and ripping it down now is McPherson. He's going to try and go coast to coast. His layup is no good. It was tipped up and in there from Kobe Wilson. Marcellus Edwards spinning, kicking it across. Makai Thomas jump stop, and that layup was blocked away. Actually, it wasn't blocked away. He just lost it. Thought maybe he lost it, or he got blocked right there going up, but I guess nobody touched it. Thought maybe Wilson grabbed it. Wilson going to drive into the paint. He's going to look. He's going to spin. Nothing available. Now McPherson with 15. He's been very good from the mid-range, and he knocked down another. Lead down to 12. Prada's going to drive. He lost it, but it was because of a foul. Trey McPherson in that mid-range jump shot. He has been almost lights out from there in this game so far. Zach Bronis will go to the line to shoot two. Or it's a one and one, excuse me. And the first is up and good. Both teams in the bonus, well, the next Gladiator foul will put the Mariners in the bonus. And the second is good. And it looks like Caldra Marin will call timeout. So 11.25 to go. It's a 14-point Gladiator lead. You are watching... Chabot Athletics here on NorCal Sports TV. After the timeout from College of Marin, a quick update on Devin Mims. He will not return to the ball game. He had a little laceration above the left eyebrow, and it looked like it was a concussion protocol type thing they were doing down here on the medicine table. Good pass inside, and Hamilton had no answer there for Kubali. Makai Thomas working it around the perimeter. Makai Mims. Edwards, nothing really available. It was tipped away and stolen away. McPherson driving. He stripped by Makai Mims and was fouled by Makai Mims. Oh, 
Mims picks up the foul. It's the seventh team, so both teams are going to be in the bonus the rest of the way out. At the line to shoot two now is Trey McPherson. And the first is up and good. Substitutions coming. Back to the starting lineup for the Gladiators. Pearson second is good. And the lead now down to 10. Working it all the way around. Noah Thomas, I guess he didn't like it. Mims likes it and hits. Mikhail Mims buries the three. That was something that maybe he needed to see go down. Big bucket there. It was almost thrown away. Now scrambling. They're trying to get rid of it as West. And West is fouled there. It'll be on Marcellus Edwards. That's Edwards' second foul. And that will put West at the line to shoot the one and one. We'll see if he maybe reached in at the last second. Oh, right there. He just came with that right-handed slap. And the first free throw is going to roll home for Desmond West. 50% free throw shooter. Freshman from Oakland High School. And the second is often no good, so right on cue with the percentages. Good job there by Noah Thomas to grab the rebound. And quickly ahead come the Gladiators until Broadus wants to slow this thing down. Edwards. Had it almost stripped away, and it is stripped away. Here's McPherson on the breakaway. He's going to lay it up and in. And calling a timeout before the inbound. It'll be a quick 30-second timeout. Will be Lorian Russell and College of Marin. They have it down to 10. It's a quick 30-second timeout. Calder Marin called the timeout. They've got two left now. Gladiators have four. Both teams in the bonus. Nobody in the double. Nobody in the double bonus yet. Halfway through our second half. It is a 10-point lead. Gladiators had full control of this one when this thing tipped off. Then a big run, cut it down to single digits. Then the Gladiators looked like they had it controlled again, and now it's back down to 10. Right when you think the Gladiators pulled this thing away, it would just be knocked away. Mims, his three is blocked. Thrown ahead. Koulibaly's layup, no good. Noah Thomas, the rebound, he's stripped behind the play. He goes down, and he's holding the right elbow, but he's going to get up. Very surprised. Cool Bali there went for the kind of Euro move instead of just going straight up. He had the much smaller Marcellus Edwards backtracking. And then Noah Thomas trying to accelerate up the floor after grabbing the rebound. Was tripped up and he'll go to the line to shoot the one and one and the first one rattles home. And the second is no good, it wouldn't go. Kulbali got the rebound. Quickly driving. That's a really good pass to West. West looking. Looking. Nothing there. Now he had to drop it off to Wilson. Wilson is fouled there from Noah Thomas. So Noah Thomas just picked up his fourth personal foul. 
and that puts a real bind on things for the Gladiators. One of their better defenders and three-point shooters in this game has to be checked out as it'll be Matthias Moore to come in the game. And you would have to think we don't see Noah Thomas until maybe five or four minutes left. DJ Howard the rebound after the missed free throw. Akayo Mims gives it to Broadus. This is when earlier in the season Broadus has started to take these games over. And now it's thrown away by Mims. Another turnover. It's the seventh of the half. And head coach Keenan McMiller wants to stop everything right now. 8.56 to go in our ball game. Gladiators call time. the Gladiator timeout. We'll see what they come out with here and see if head coach Keenan McMiller maybe dug into his guys a little bit here. They pick up on defense full man to man. McPherson Working it across, that's a good play inside and it was blocked again from DJ Howard and it went out of bounds last on West. Really good defense there from DJ Howard again. His fifth block of the basketball game. Wow. That one was on Coverson trying to drive. Edwards, here's Broadus spinning away, he lost it. Couldn't dribble again. Edwards inside Howard. Howard going to try and use his side, and that floater's no good. Grabbed by McPherson. McPherson quickly up the floor. Going to work on Mims. And look at DJ Howard again. And now it's up to Edwards. Edwards brought us, throws it down with the right hand. Zach brought us with the stuff. Defense turned into spectacular offense. DJ Howard with another block, and it was a great pass by Edwards quickly to Broadus. Broadus with the right hand, and now there's going to be a foul off the basketball on Mathis Moore. There's the block by Howard quickly ahead, and it almost looked like Broadus wanted to slow down a little bit to have someone rise up and challenge him. McPherson at the line, his first is no good. As Collinger Marin is in the double bonus, they're shooting two the rest of the way out, and they have nine team fouls, so the Gladiators will be shooting two the rest of the way out as well on the next foul. Foul was on Matthias Moore, it's his second personal. And Matthias Moore will fire a three. It was way too strong. No good. Quickly ahead now. Aquino. Aquino going to try and drive. He was fouled. His scoop layup is no good. It was Mims or er, Edwards will be called for the foul. And that's Edwards' third personal foul. Now Justin Aquino will go to the line to shoot two, the 75% free throw shooter. Q 
Aquino's first is no good. And Aquino's second is no good. Missing them both. Mims over across. Edwards didn't love the three. Broadus. Mims trying to look, maybe trying to get it to Broadus here baseline, but Mims will fire a three and that won't go. Rebound is quickly grabbed by Wilson. Wilson going to try and drive on Moore. He's going to rise up and lay it in. What a nice little power move there from Kobe Wilson. Lead down to 10 again. Broadus almost had it knocked away from him. Edwards, nothing available. Broadus going to drive. He's going to drop it off to Howard inside, and the layup is good. Beautiful pass by Broadus, and a great job by Howard to stay with it after he didn't catch the pass clean. Rising, no good, and Broadus grabs the rebound. Broadus quickly through the defense, dribbling, dropping it off. Here's Mims, three ball, no good. Aquino grabs the rebound. Aquino going to work and lay it in. Nicely done by Aquino, knowing that Marcellus Edwards didn't have the fouls to give there. Mims going to drive all the way. He's fouled and lays it in. Mikhail Mims and one. Tough bucket there from Mims. And the foul is on Adam Kubali, and that's his fifth personal. So that'll do it. And with Devin Mims out in concussion protocol and Denim Tula Fata down, or ejected with two technical fouls, there's not another center on the roster. And the foul's gonna be on number 21, Mims on the breakout. It's a second personal, and that will send Logan Coverson to the line to shoot two. Trying to see what College of Marin's gonna try and do here. They're definitely gonna have to go small, but it does look like they brought in freshman Jared Williams as he's going to try and play the five. Small lineup here. This could be a time where the Gladiators try and force feed DJ Howard and just let him eat a little bit. And there's the pass right inside to Howard and it was blocked right away. Jared Williams checks into the game and makes a block. It looks like they're having Desmond West, who just checked out of the game. I was just going to say it looked like they had Desmond West playing that five middle spot in the paint in the 2-3 zone. And now Mikhail Mims will fire an open three and knock it down. And the Gladiators will call time after the three. It's just a 30-second timeout. And the Gladiators lead by 13. Here's the Mims triple. There's that good ball fake. A good ball fake will always break a kind of zone defense there as they had, as they had Marcellus Edwards fly up to the straight on top of the key three-point area. And that one ball fake from Mims freed him up. He fired the three. And the lead is 13. Gladiators have control of this one, but they just can't pull away just yet. And it's been pretty much double digits the whole game. It's gotten as low as seven. Has the Gladiator lead. College of Marin looking to answer. Aquino trying to drive and he just went down and slipped and they're going to call a travel. And 
And Justin Aquino is down. As he slipped and went down, it looked like he was stretching out that right calf. He's going to be subbed out. And here's the Gladiators with it. Broadus looked for more in the corner. More. He's got to get rid of it somewhere. And he threw it to uh, just a bunched up area. It was deflected out of bounds. It's Gladiator ball. Broadus catch and shoot. Triple. Broadus. Knocks down the three. It looked like Call de Marin. Their defense was not set on the inbound. And right away, knocking down the three. And the layup is up in no good by McPherson. It's grabbed by Edwards. It's a two-on-one. Now three-on-one. What passing inside. It went Edwards to Broadus. Broadus to Moore. Tic-tac-toe. The layup is good. Gladiators. Really putting the foot on the gas pedal now, extending their lead. That shot was blocked by Mims. Mims got it, quickly thrown ahead. Edwards, Edwards going to throw a lob, but it was just too high. That was Broadus, maybe exclamation point. McPherson's pass inside, and that one was blocked by Mims, but he went right into the chest. So Mims will be called for a foul. So Mikhail Mims picks up his third. The lead quickly has jumped out to 18, but when it would usually get to this in the game, as the game script has really turned, it's when it's get up to this type of lead, 2018. Colin Marin has reeled it back in to at least 10. First free throw was good there from McPherson. And the second is no good, but grabbing the rebound was Wilson. Now McPherson, he's going to rise up. He can't hit, and that was too long of a rebound for D.J. Howard, and Wilson grabbed it. Wilson's going to drive. His layup is up and good, and now it'll be a College of Marin timeout with 4.11 to go. Gladiators have a 15-point lead. Can they hang on in this one? We'll be right back. Timeout will leave College of Marin with one left. Gladiators have two. It's a gladiator ball on the inbound. Full court pressure. Shown by College of Marin, it's broken easily and then it's thrown away. And head coach Keenan McMiller will immediately call timeout, and this will be a 30. So the Gladiators are just shooting themselves in the foot here, rolling down the wire. Just five seconds after a timeout from College of Marin, a turnover forces head coach Keenan McMiller to call time. Now the Gladiators, so both teams have one left. Both teams in the double bonus as well. That was a quick, a quick one for sure. 
20, well, that was the 21st Gladiator turnover of the ball game. And that's really been the story on how College of Marin has been in this game. Suppose turning the ball over has led to easy buckets. McPherson all the way across, catching and shooting. That one was no good. Really good box out by Ugungale. Broadus almost losing it on a couple of dribble moves in the backcourt, but he's got it. He's going to stutter. He's going to drive all the way, and a circus layup is good. Little finesse by Broadus. That's really thrown ahead. What a really good catch and throw. Wilson has it. Wilson, left-handed layup is good. You got to give Desmond West all the credit there. Saving that deep pass, getting the feet down, not on the line, and a quick pass out to save. Lead will stay at 15. Edwards, he's going to spin in the paint. That was ripped away from him and stolen by Aquino. Aquino going to slow it down. And look, Aquino, he's just going to rise in three. And he hit it. Justin Aquino again from three. Mims. Pradas will dribble with it. Edwards will set up the offense. Not sure if you can hear how loud this College of Marin bench is starting to get. Broadus, he's going to want to take this game over. That right-handed scoop layup is good. Will Aquino have an answer? He's going to work on Uni. That one was no good. It's through the hand of Edwards, but Edwards has it. Edwards, he's going to drive all the way through. His layup is good. Finishes with a little finesse of his own. Inside, the layup is no good. Rebound more, more quickly up to Broadus. Broadus, he's going to slow it down behind the back dribble. He rises in. That's off the back iron, no good. He stripped it away and got the rebound. Broadus dribbling it out and more gets the ball and the extra possession will go to the Gladiators here. Mims, he was fouled for sure by Kobe Wilson trying to reach in and poke a steal away. It's his third personal. That'll send Mims to the line to shoot two. There's the Edwards bucket with the English. Eighty-one percent free throw shooter in Mims, and the first is no good. And the second is good. Splitting a pair was Mims. Gladiator lead at 17. A buck 45 to go. Almost losing his footing. Rising is McPherson. That one was no good. It's ripped down by Broadus. Broadus quickly ahead. Man coming behind him, but he shields him off nicely and slows it down. Noah Thomas back in the game. He's got four fouls. Mims. Gladiators really don't have to shoot. Thomas will fire a three. That's no good. And the rebound goes to Broadus. Broadus extra possession. Broadus fighting off his man here. He looks like he wants to go one-on-one, -on -one and he is fouled. Fouls on Jabez Worthington, his second personal. Just the reach right there, little block. We'll send Broadus to the line to shoot two. And the first is up and good. And the second is up and good as well. Broadus knocks them both down, 19 point lead. Quickly ahead, trying to get through and Noah Thomas has picked up his fifth foul. Logan Coberson will go to the line to shoot two. Noah Thomas, it's his fifth personal, and he's now fouled out of the ball game. It'll be Makai Thomas to come on for Noah Thomas. And the first free throw is up and good from Coberson. You would 
think possibly College of Marin would want to play the foul game here, but as that one's up and good as well, they back completely out of it. Maybe they try and go for one steal, and if they don't get her, they're just going to try and play this thing out, and the Gladiators will roll the clock all the way down here as we're under a minute to go in our ball game. We'll see if the Gladiators even shoot, and it looks like Bronis is calling just for an ISO. He's going to get it. Bronis drops it off. Makai Thomas baseline. He's going to drive and lay it up and in with 42 seconds to go, and that should just about do it. As the layup is good by McPherson. It's a four-second game clock, shot clock differential. Makai Thomas throws it ahead to Mims, and they're going to call a foul, or is it a timeout somewhere? And it looks like it is. It looked like the Gladiators call their final timeout. And it is a 30-second timeout with 27.2 to go. I think that was just to get Makai Thomas out of trouble there. They'll probably inbound. I doubt they would go for a jump shot here. Just roll this thing out. The Gladiators upcoming. A huge game next Thursday night at San Jose City. San Jose City ranked number nine in the state right now. That'll be another great top 15 matchup on this Gladiator schedule. And then right after that game, they will head right into conference play starting Wednesday, January 10th. That'll be at Kenyatta. And then the home opener in conference play will be right here against San Francisco City. And if we remember last year, the Gladiators broke their conference winning streak and winning streak at Chabot in general when they were number two in the state. They got the win. That'll be Friday the 12th. And that will be an exciting one that will be watched around the state for rankings as well. Mikhail Mims was fouled, so he'll go to the line to shoot two. This will bring the Chabot record up to... 12 and 3 on the season. And this would have made them winners of 9 of their last 10. Shot clock turned off. This will bring College of Marin down to 3 and 10 on the season their upcoming schedule as this game was actually smushed into the beginning of their conference schedule. They had one conference game already on the season, and that was against Yuba. And now there's a foul called with .7 seconds to go in the game. Very confusing there to just not let that thing roll out. .7 seconds left. They call the foul. It'll send Mikhail Mims to the line. But we get back to... College of Marin, yeah, their conference schedule started actually last Thursday against Yuba. Then they throw this non-conference game in, and then the rest of the way out, they're in conference play. They'll take on Alameda and then Merritt. So the Gladiators will make now that official. It'll officially be a 20-point victory for the Gladiators. A 98-78 victory as it got a little bit interesting towards the end. But the Gladiators did what they needed to do to hold on and win. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning into our broadcast this evening. And remember, without you, none of this would be possible. Go ahead and follow us on all social media platforms at NorCal Sports TV and hit that subscribe button and go ahead on our YouTube channel and hit the bell right next to that. You'll get all the alerts whenever we are live at any sporting event around Northern California. I'd like to thank our two cameramen, of course, as always, my great producer, Luis, and reminding you of the final score. Gladiators win. They move forward to 12-3. We'll see 
where they start moving up on the rankings. They are number 13. A couple of other bigger games in the state. We'll see how much they move up starting next week. They win 78 or 98 78. And we like to thank you for joining us. I'm Dominic Cariel from Chabot College, wishing everybody a happy new year and so long.